Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be about ulcerative pododermatitis, also known as bumblefoot. In this video I'm going to talk to you about how to prevent, what the symptoms are, and how to treat bumblefoot. If this is an emergency, please call your local vet. So let's get started! Now, what exactly is ulcerative pododermatitis? Well, let's break down those words. Ulcerative. What is an ulcer? An ulcer is an open sore on the external or internal surface of the body, caused by a break in the skin or mucous membrane that fails to heal. What is pododermatitis? Pod means foot. In this case, it usually means the plantar feet, which are the two hind feet. Derm means skin, a thick layer of living tissue below the epidermis that forms the true skin containing blood capillaries, nerve endings, sweat glands, hair follicles, and other structures. Itis. Itis means inflammation when the skin gets all hot, red, swollen, and can contain pus, which usually leads to an infection. Ulcerative pododermatitis is an extremely painful infection of the skin and connective tissue of the foot caused by Staphylococcus bacteria. So, the symptoms. The symptoms are red sores on the bottom of the hind feet, sometimes will appear raw and open, or may be a darker red or brown. It may appear open and bleed, pus may be present, and in most cases will appear as reddened, raised skin on the bottom of the feet. Treatment. In mild cases, by cleaning and covering all hard surfaces, the issue will resolve on its own. In more severe cases where the sore is actually present or bleeding is occurring, the animal's feet need to be soaked two to three times a day in a very warm saline solution. To make your own, add half a teaspoon of sea salt to eight ounces of warm water, and then dry the feet thoroughly. Maintain a clean cage and keep all surfaces covered during and after healing process. Blue coat is also a very effective treatment if you can acquire it. Or, in severe cases, antibiotics can help with clearing up an infection. Check out my other video on how to give antibiotics to rats, which is on the screen here, or you can click in the link in the description down below. Prevention. Prevention is key. Make sure your, li your pet's living surfaces are clean and soft on those small sensitive feet. If you have a cage with wire flooring, Please cover it up or get a new cage. And that concludes this video on Bumblefoot. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them down below. Be sure to check out last week's video on mites, lice, and fleas, which is on the screen now. And be sure to stay tuned for next week's video on malocclusions. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. Maybe even share it with some friends. Until next week, happy pet keeping!